All right, guys, Bob and I are gonna show you uh, how to duck, okay? Look at that, he's a pro. So what we're gonna do is be in our fighting stance, and if you could imagine a punch coming towards my head or my face, I'm gonna duck just enough to get out of the way of that punch, okay? The punch is coming here, this high, all right? I don't need to duck way down here. That's extra work for my legs. It's extra time that I'm taking up when I could be moving and getting into a better position to strike. So, when you duck, so if you could imagine Bob punching me in the head right here, okay? I keep my eyes on him, I duck, and I roll under the punch and I get back up, okay? Typically, most of the time, we want to move towards the outside. That means if the punch was coming here, I would want to move this way to stay away from Bob's other arm, okay? I would not want to move my body towards this side where he could be hitting me or punching me or kicking me, okay? And then it would be the opposite. If he punched on that side, I would want to roll that way away from this lead hand, okay? Now, I know Bob doesn't have arms, but if you can imagine what it would look like if he was trying to punch me, okay? I need to stay up, I need to move under the punch, I need to move just under the punch, okay? I don't need to drop all the way down to the floor, okay? And I don't need to turn away from him, okay? And I certainly don't want to do this either, right? We've talked about that before. I don't want to bend my back and look at the floor. I need to keep my head up. And so here's why. Here's what we're going to work on. That's why I have Bob here with me, actually, is because as I come up out of this duck, oh, I'm going to use that momentum to throw a strike myself, okay? So, this shoulder, if I'm moving towards my right when I duck, my right shoulder lifts up and punches out as I straighten my knees. Okay, so I ducked. I'm gonna keep my hand down a little bit so you can see my face and hear me. As I stand back up, this knee pushes up, that pushes this hip up, that pushes this arm up, and I twist back forward, I'm gonna throw my punch. Okay, so he threw a hook punch at me and I ducked under it, and then I pop up and I throw my counter strike at him, okay? And then that comes back in and I keep attacking or doing whatever I wanna do, okay? So I duck and off of that duck, I stand up and punch, okay? I want to think about making a circle, circle, okay? If I just do this, stand up and then punch, I lost that momentum. So from the ground, okay? I was up at the top of my circle, I'm going down. Now to finish the circle, I have to push up and drive back forward again, okay? Does that make sense? Hopefully. So this knee pushes, that drives my hip, that drives my arm. I'm not just punching with my hand. For power, I wanna use my legs, all right? So Bob punched me with his big invisible hook. Go under, stand up, okay? You could do the same thing going the other way as well. If Bob punched me with his right hand and I went under, I could push off this foot and come across with a hook punch or whatever I'd like, okay? Um, one more thing, one more thing. If you like to duck, if you're a kind of person who when you're sparring, you, you find yourself ducking, okay? Just remember that you would only do it against someone your size or taller, okay? So this is fine, because we're close to the same height. If Bob is that tall, I don't want to duck when he punches me, okay? Because when he punches, his punch is coming to my body, and I would have to duck really low to get under that, okay? It would not make sense. So he could duck, if I was punching him, that would be fine, right? It would be easy for him to duck under my punch because I'm taller than him, okay? But if you are taller than the other person, so me, I'm not gonna duck when Bob tries to punch me. That's just not a move I can use against somebody this size, okay? It has to be somebody your own size or taller. Right? Now would be a good time for me to duck because his arm is going to be coming straight towards my head and I can easily slide under it. Okay? So one thing, if you are going to duck against this taller guy, you might be able to throw a punch on the way across. Just kind of swipe him with a hook. Okay? So he throws his hook punch at me, I duck, and as I'm going, I'm in my circle still. As I go to this bottom part of my circle, I punch. As I come to the top part of my circle, I punch. Okay? So I could try to get two in there. So I can try to punch, 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 
Okay, now I'm going really slow right now. Um, and my partner doesn't have arms. But if you could imagine when you're actually sparring, right, you would need to snap that across, okay? Snap it across as you go under. It would move with your head and your body, okay? So this is just some basics about a duck and how to use a duck to set up other strikes, right? I could use it to duck and then be ready, boom, to throw there or here, or I could actually try to throw a strike as I duck and come up, but as long as the person is taller than me or my size, okay? Never against a shorter person, okay? So, thank you, uh, practice your ducks. You might wanna get a partner, maybe mom or dad can just move their hand, or maybe like a, a towel or something, try to swing it over your head, or at your head, and you try to duck under. Mom and dad, if you're gonna help them practice, don't do this, and pick your, your attack up over their head. Make them duck, make them get out of the way. Okay, don't knock them out, but I mean, if, if they don't duck, tap them on the side of the head, okay? Uh, it doesn't help them for you to just pop over their head like that, because then they don't get to learn how to do it. All right, so hope you're having a fun time practicing with these videos. Keep watching, keep practicing, good luck.